Hey guys, I'm going to go over our prone shoulder external rotation using the pails and rails protocol. So you're going to start out lying on your stomach, you're going to bring one forearm up, and you want good spinal alignment throughout. So for the sake of the video, I'm going to have my head turned to you, but ideally you're going to have your head down on your forearm, rib cage pulled down the belt buckle, and a posterior pelvic tilt. Boom. Okay, you want to hold that throughout, just so you're, you're kind of reinforcing good alignment. Okay, so I have my right arm, the shoulder I'm going to work, resting on two yoga blocks. You could have it on the ground, okay? But you notice the thickness of my body kind of dips my shoulder forward. So I like having yoga blocks here just to kind of compensate or um, make up for the, the thickness of my body. Okay, so I want 90 degree angle there. Make sure your elbow's not too far down. It's going to basically be straight across your shoulders. Now, for some of you, this is going to be a stretch, okay? For me, it's not. But for some of you, this is going to be a stretch. That's fine. Stay there. For some of you, you can just rotate the yoga block. That's going to be a stretch. And then for me, this is kind of more of a stretch position. Okay, so I'm, this is how I would do this shoulder external rotation drill. For the sake of the video, I'm just going to do it this way. Okay, so from here, what I want to do is slowly create tension, full body tension, squeezing my glutes, my core, my biceps, my, my fists. Once I have that full body tension, I'm going to push my hand down into the block. Okay, 25% tension, 50% tension, 75% tension, and 100. It should take you about 10 seconds to do so. Once you're at 100%, you want to hold that for 10 seconds. Okay, we'll just pretend 10 is going by. Three, two, one. Stay tight. I want to externally rotate that hand or the shoulder. Bring the hand off the block and fight that as high as you can for 10 seconds. Don't compensate with your body in any other way. So it's just movement from the shoulder joint. Three, two, one. And now you have a new range of motion. You might need to, if you started out here, you might need to put the block there. Or for me, because I have a distance there, I can now put the block up here and relax and hold this stretch for 90 seconds to two minutes. Again, focusing on the, the slow breathing, in for four, out for eight. Okay, guys, that's your prone position, shoulder external rotation using the pails and rails protocol.